Hi guys, a quick video on Paget's disease of the bone in case this comes up in medical questions or scenarios. What is Paget's disease? It's basically when you have increased bone turnover due to basically increased resorption and therefore you're trying to build bone quickly and because you're building it quickly the newer bone is weaker and it's less organized which can lead to an increased risk of things like fractures and deformities as well. Now most patients who present don't have any symptoms whatsoever. You may pick it up simply on blood tests. So the key thing to remember is a very high ALK-FOS. Alkaline phosphatase is high but the other bone type bloods are generally normal like calcium, PTH, phosphate, they're normal but a raised out force. It may be picked up on x-ray. You may get classic things like bone lucency, osteolytic lesions, the bone size may be increased, classic things like blade of grass lesions or cotton wool patterns in the skull, a variety of ways that it may come up on x-ray. However, if people do present with problems, bone pain is the commonest way that it presents. Joint pain as well if the disease is happening near a joint, but bone pain generally you can present with fractures of course. Bowed legs is a key thing to remember. Cranial nerve compression, things like deafness can happen because of Paget disease and also things like cardiac hypertrophy with increased bone blood flow. How do you treat it? Generally analgesia, things like non steroidal anti-inflammatories are used, bisphosphonates can reduce that bone turnover. This could be oral generally but it could be IV bisphosphonates as well. Calcitonin sometimes is used and ultimately things like surgery may be needed as well. So Paget disease, increased bone turnover, Worth looking at some of these things and just getting them right in your mind. Much more like this on our webinars, our online training, our courses, and our audiobooks. Hashtag Campus Will Pass. Hashtag I went with Aurora.